As time passed in the Wild West, I slowly moved down to the t to the bottom of the food chain. In the Wild West, keywords I used to be only the one decently successful people who actually made videos on this poor game that the devs are too lazy to update anymore. But you know, I was at the top of the food chain. You looked up the Wild West. I was up there next to Flamingo and stuff. Who used to make well, who, he made one video on that game, but now everybody does and. To be honest, I, I really don't like that. See, my channel, is the growth has gone down a lot in the past months, and to be honest, I don't really like that, and I think it's because maybe I just haven't been giving out too much information. I'm probably going to... I need to spend more effort on my videos, so this one, this one is going to be a complete guide. I, I don't know how long it's going to be. It's going to be very long, though. It is going to be a entire complete guide of how to play this game, the things that you can do, literally everything. And it's gonna be a basically a combination of about five videos. Uh, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give away the names of chapters. So chapter one is the, going to be how how you want to make your money. Chapter two is going to be the loadouts that you can use the, the best things. And then chapter three horses. Chapter four is the occupations that you can do in the game uh, because generally you stick with one thing that you do, and then uh, or you just somebody that does everything. And then miscellaneous stuff that you may want to do or things that you should get. So, yeah. Well, we're going to continue on to chapter one. And this is probably going to take a while, but yeah, it's going to be worth it. So, you guys should definitely maybe watch the end or at least go to the part that you need um, to learn about. So, liking and subscribing always helps because uh, I, spent, I spend effort in my videos. So, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so there's a, uh, a few a few different versions of ways that you can get money in this game. Uh, first one is mining. Alright, now we got hunting. Alright, now we got wood chopping. Sorry, I was just really loud the drown out background noise. Uh, wood chopping isn't that good, by the way. Alright guys, so this is the mining portion of the video. Mining is a very reliable source of money, though you do have to invest some into it. So, the best mining spots, in my opinion, one of them is Howling Peak up here. The reason that I like this is, um, the bear is coming after us, by the way. Can you please kill that? Yeah, go away, bear. Cringe. Okay, so the be one of the best places is Howling Peak. Now, not the reason because this is the most popular, or actually, the one of the reasons is it's actually the least popular. The reason I like this is because there's not the risk of 20 other people coming up here and trying to kill you. If this video does get popular, though, then there's probably going to be more people up here than the, uh, like, the popularity will go up, and it may just be a bit worse, but I, at the same time, you know, it's definitely not the best place, but this is just up here so this is the gold over here there's one gold vein and two silver one right here and then down here is some other stuff there's one silver vein and one gold vein so the strat for this go down this little slope right here you're gonna fall you may take some damage but you'll regenerate it by the time that you go back there now you can sell pretty often because howling peak is right here get the silver get these three gold down here and then what we do is we run back up here to the side go sell right here and rinse and repeat and then you'll get maybe a thousand per time the reason of this is because i mean you can get more and less due to diamonds and stuff and rare ores since uh i should probably talk about that too so yeah i'll talk about that later in the mining video right now i'll just uh you know make do some popular locations of mine that i enjoy so let's go on to the next location Okay guys, so this, we're going to start a tribal here so you guys know how to get over here. This is one of my favorite spots, it's called Silver Hill. Now, I don't mind here a ton, it's right over here, it's even on the map, so you'll know. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is actually one of the, I can't remember if it's an explorer, a like, quest over here. Let's see if you click on this and they have a ton of quests. Uh, I can't remember if it's an explorer quest or not, I do believe, I re recall, <laughs> recall, um, this being a quest from the explorer so yeah now if we go up here i think there's some around here too uh we got some silver up here some uh silver 
Silver isn't valued a ton by people, but if you are a beginner, it's not that bad because you don't need the highest tier pickaxe to break it and it gives a decent amount of money. People hate on silver because they're tryhards and they're annoying. Uh, so I do not hate on silver. I'm inclusive of every single ore in this game because if it gives you money, then it's worth it, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't really be complaining. I mean, to be honest, I can't remember. It costs, I think, about 4000 for the tier 6 which is like, which is pretty cheap to, to, okay, I know, I know a lot of you are going to be like, that's not very cheap, I don't know, have, I don't have any way to get any other money, but you can work your way up, the tier 0 pickaxe, or tier 1, I can't remember which one it is, it's free, so you can just work your way up, and the great place to work your way up is the labyrinth, I call this, other people call it the forest cave, I guess, yeah, forest cavern, that's what it's actually called, so down here they have a lot of lower level ores, similar to the copper gold mine, and down here, they they have a lot of stuff. I think down here is a bear. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Yeah, that's a bear, definitely. So there's some there's some gold down here. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back up. <laughs> yeah, so there's gold down here, everything. But there is like a bear and stuff. So that's definitely not a recommended spot. But it is a good spot in general for people that. You're probably going to want a gun for you down here, though, so I recommend a different spot that I'm just going to show later in the video. So, this this is area down here. See, there's bears, so that's why you're going to want a weapon. So, off to the next spot. Okay, we're next to our next mining spot. Colleague can kill him. You can mute yourself, too, but, like... Okay, no, you just, just mute yourself. Don't kill him. Don't kill him yet. You can mute yourself now. Okay, so... This down here is a Culper Gulch Mine. This is the best place for beginners, like all around best place and it is actually a safe zone for those of you that need that this that's why you need a gun for the other spots because there are people that do hunt miners or uh mining people the, the people that, that you know um so yeah they hunt them take their ores because your ores do drop on death so don't really be surprised about that if that ever happens but this isn't our big place of interest up here see the best place this is coal right yeah no ore? Okay, well, then somebody's here. Well, we're gonna go down here to the deepest part of the mine, which is the, like, the, the, I call it the, a lot of people actually call it the river cave. It's down here, right? Yeah, okay, it's kind of dark right here. Oh, uh, yeah, and then you get into this beautiful area. Has a lot of zinc and such, which is very good for beginners. Oh, that is very loud. Please never shoot your gun again. And, uh, it's very loud down here. So, it's, you know, it's annoying. But, you do have some pretty good copper, zinc. A lot of people think that you can mine diamonds, but you can't. It's just a chance that you get it from zinc and copper. And I can't, I don't think it's copper, but there's a few select ores about that. I'll, I'll make that segment right now. But that's the cave, the river cave. You can actually enter through here, which is a pretty good shortcut for it. So, yeah, we're going to get onto the complicated stuff about mining now. Alright, now we're going to go to the general store here, guys. This is where we can get some pretty good goodies. Alright, here's the pickaxes. You can see the price is 6500 I think the tier 5 pickaxe can break anything, but it's not as efficient. I can't I can't actually remember that. Don't don't quote me right there, but you can look up uh, what, what stuff everything can break. I probably should put that in the video, but that's way too complicated. And I'm not actually 100%. I'm guessing something has it somewhere, but... You can just test out, see what ores you want to buy. I mean, at least what ores you want to break and then buy the corresponding pickaxe. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, I'm just reading straight from the wiki right here. Okay, so, Ruby. Ruby is the only gem that uh, you can get with a tier 1 pickaxe, which sells for 180 And you can get this from anything besides for golden limestone, which you won't really need to be worrying about with a tier 1 pickaxe. So, pretty nice little bonus. Okay. Sapphires are the next most expensive. This can be obtained mining zinc, iron, silver, or gold. And it has a pretty high drop chance. I've got this a lot before. And it sells for two, uh, 260 each. Now, emerald is more rare. It is obtained by mining iron, limestone, silver, or gold. And it sells for 300 each. And uh, limestone is the best chance. I have actually mined limestones to get emeralds. And it's pretty profitable. So, now diamonds. Diamonds is the rarest. It is very hard to get. I've tried. You can get it from zinc, iron, silver, or gold, and it's very, very rare. It sells for 500 each. 
I'm guessing you can sell it to other players for more, but I, I don't think that's like a thing. So you, you might be able to. Don't don't quote me on that, but yeah. So that's that's mining of section of the video. Now we're going to go on to hunting. All right, boys. This is the this is the next form of hunting. I mean, <laughs> this that the, the the next form of money making. But the next form of money making is hunting. Now you're not gonna. This isn't the great start. This isn't a very good starting method due to you literally having like no guns or anything good. I hope these guys aren't annoying, but. Okay, so this is this is a very popular rock right here. Nope, it's a it's a log. Okay, so basically up here the bears cannot get you, and there is a bear spawn right there. Bear hunting is the most efficient way to earn money through hunting, though it is not maybe as efficient as mining due to the fact that you have to wait for spawn rates and such, which can be really a big pain. And it's mining is only I mean hunting is only worth it if you do invest a ton now Mining you're gonna say oh, yeah, you have to invest a ton of that, too But it does start with a free option for this you need a peacekeeper and peacekeepers are not the most reliable source of money making through hunting Which really isn't isn't that good to be honest. So yeah, that's that's why we're not that's why we're not bear hunting with peacekeepers Bear pelts give about 160 each, I believe. Bear pelts are the main source of money. Though, if you do want to get a lot of money here, you place down a campfire, cook all the uh, the meat and stuff, drive over to the hunter's cabin, and you can sell stuff there. Now, I, I don't think any bears are going to spawn, or else I can't at least see them. Yeah, besides bear claws. Bear claws are another source of money from bears, sorry. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. And those also sell for a lot. Those are very rare, too. You get them about every three bears, even though they're supposed to be rare. So, yeah. This is a pretty good spot. You can There's deer around and stuff, but those aren't really worth it. But uh, if you're going to hunt deer, then you're going to only want, like, a peacekeeper and stuff. So, yeah, that's deers are a very good hunting animal. Though you're going to want an accurate gun because they do run away. And you're going to want to pack a punch while you can. So, next spot. Oh, sorry guys. You, oh, yeah, okay. Well, that that was pretty quick. Well, I need to I need to assassinate the mayor for being cringe now. Okay, uh, assassinate the mayor. Here we go. Stop. Uh, that was horrible. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, there we go. This is another hunting method. Uh, people. This is a another animal that you can hunt. By animal, I mean mule sucking users. Um, if they are mining, then you can take them out pretty easily. Uh, see, they're 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 very easy to take out with the Lamat pistol. Um, the Lamat is very cheap and it is quite effective in tight spaces. That's probably that's probably for the combat section. Okay, so we're gonna actually hunt for real now before this guy kills me. Stop it! You're not you're not in Hitman. Okay. <laughs> Well, <laughs> there we go. Okay, now on to the next spot. Alright, guys, this brings us to our next spot. Now, this spot is not as good unless you own Fort Henry. Most of the time, you're going to get gunned down by automatic machine guns mounted on the front of the Henry. So, I mean, you know, they do waste money by shooting you because you're just an innocent um, little hunter guy. But generally, people put down a tent over here and shoot buffalo. Now, the most effective gun to do this is the Sharps Rifle. I know what you're thinking, oh, the Sharps Rifle is pretty trash. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I used to use it for a long time, but I really don't know why. It's like the only scope weapon. I can't remember if they, uh, like, if they nerfed this or not, but, yeah, okay. So, you can, I, last time I used this, you could one-hit headshot buffalo, but now it seems you cannot. So, Sharps ain't your best go anymore. Sharps used to be very good at hunting. Now, I'm guessing Hartford is the way to go now, but Hartford is really expensive, so... Don't hunt buffalo in, unless you have an area that you can be safe while you do it. There we go. See, hunting with multiple people, people is way better. So, yeah, that's the hunting section was kind of short. There's not a lot to hunt, though. I don't really think I missed much. Besides from rattlesnakes, those don't exist anymore, though. I've never seen a rattlesnake for, like... A very very long time in this game so yeah that was hunting all right guys so this is the this is the tree this is the tree uh, cutting section this is where you cut trees for money this is a horrible source of uh, money and uh, basically how you do it is you get an axe and you chop trees the the tier one axe or something is free and then it falls and you get logs and stuff or you sell those for 10 each 
Now really, I'm gonna be honest with you, the only good way to get money through this method is Thunderstruck trees, which are quite rare and you can only get them while you are, what else, it is raining. Thunderstruck trees are very distinct though. You'll see in chat, if it is a Thunderstruck tree, it'll say Thunder has, I mean, Lightning has struck a tree, Go find it for ultra rare loot, and it's actually just worth 2,000, which isn't actually about that. It's really good for newer players, and you can get a lot with 2,000. So for me, I would buy like 3,000 worth of dynamite literally every single day, but that's for the occupations area. So <laughs> yeah, I am a professional dynamite buyer, by the way. If you if you didn't know what my occupation was in this game, so yeah. Okay, so that's tree cutting. Tree cutting isn't that cool, by the way. I don't really recommend it. It's a horrible source of money unless you're just really bored and have absolutely nothing to do. So, yeah. Alright, guys. So, the next way that you can earn money pretty efficiently, uh, I recommend this for, like, grinding in small servers and such, is criminality or, or being a criminal. So, a few ways to get criminal, and the most common one is robbing stuff. This There's this guy right here. We're just gonna we're just gonna calmly approach the child. I, I, he won't know that we're here because I'm gonna throw down a smoke bomb. We're gonna run into the vault. Oh, there's gold. Okay, well this is you see you steal you steal stuff. Normally there's like money bags and gold in there, but yeah. And also you have to pick lock that open. But somebody was already robbing it, so yeah. Hey, a man has been spotted. <laughs> what? what the? Okay. <laughs> Got him. Nice, bro. This guy dab. Oh. Stop. Okay, there we go. We, we took care of him pretty easily, too. There's another guy over here. Well, you can kill people that are doing jobs uh, that were announced in the, the last uh, the last few clips, such as people that are mining, people that are hunting. And stuff like that you can kill them and they'll drop all their loot now this isn't a very good way that you're gonna have people like you it's definitely not the most likable thing that you could ever do in your entire life it's it's up there with killing people with the mule shotgun but I'm gonna be really honest with you it's efficient so you know oh these are also a, a way to get money so these trains in the middle of it the the metal ones are very rare I don't have any dynamite, but you, you do need dynamite to... Wait, no, you don't need... I don't actually think that you need dynamite. I can't 100% remember, but you need some sort of... Exp oh, there's a guy right here. He tried to arrest me. Not anymore. Okay, let's see. So, I'm, I can't remember if you need dynamite. Yeah, okay, so you need dynamite to get into here, and then you need... There's a vault inside, but it has a, like, a... Like, a automatic explosive device in there or something that blows it up for you. So... Yeah, I don't know if you have dynamite. Do you have dynamite? Yeah, yeah, you use dynamite. Right, okay. Oh, sorry, man. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't loaded, man. Is that... Got him. Okay, yeah, so if you go into here, then there's a, there's a thing that you can pick lock. I'm going to go over to the other way to get money on trains over here. So, right here is the little vault thingy. It's a little vault thingy. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a little safe and it has stuff in it. So we're gonna go back over here if I can. Uh, I, oh crap! I hope I don't hit my head on the bridge. Okay, there we go. I'm fine. So if we go in here, it's gonna light a fuse. Uh, it's ammunition and such in here, so it is like flammable, explosive. All right, it's gonna light a fuse now, and the train's going to stop. Wait, if it stops on the bridge? Yes, this is very epic. It stopped on the bridge. This is cool. Okay, so if we go into here, then there's like gold and stuff. It's nothing too special, you know, but it's something. It's something. Oh, there's a guy right there. Go away. <laughs> well, nice. He has a lot of stuff. See, that's what I mean by you kill people that are mining and stuff, or hunting. And then you get all their stuff, which is a nice little thing, because you really didn't have to put in the effort of any of that. You just stole from them. <coughs> you sound so accurate, guys. You just had to steal from them, which is, you know, this entire game, to be honest. Um, the community's garbage. Uh, admit it to yourself. You're lying to yourself if you're saying that you aren't a trash player at this game. Because uh, we all are. This game is a horrible game, and the community is hot garbage. Uh, we have to all accept it, okay? Just before you 
play this game, you just gotta remember, you can't be, like, you know, you gotta be tough. There's gonna be people in this game that are trying to tear you down. Which really is, like, it sounds very cringy me saying that. But, it happens. So, yeah. See these guys up here? Cringe. I hit him. Okay, alright. Well, that's the criminal area. Now we're going to go on to the next entire chapter of the video. Alright, so this is going to be the close range loadouts. Now, this is the one that I thought of off the top of my head. Now, any of these that has the mule shotgun in it, I do not really enforce the use of the mule shotgun. And if you do use it, then just... Uh, this is going to sound cringe, but use it responsibly. Like, don't don't be really annoying with it. And just just have fun with it. It's, it's a really overpowered gun, and please do not like take it seriously at all like if you're gonna take something seriously take take seriously like a single shot weapon like a Hartford or a sharps or something so we're gonna first of all test a mule shotgun over here the mule shotgun did receive a buff of accuracy and damage so if we're gonna go over here um i didn't really see any bullet holes maybe if we just shoot the rock then we can yeah okay so here's the there's some spread I'm gonna actually test it on my friend real quick. I'm gonna go far away. You won't die, by the way. So, except the duel. Okay, so this is the long range damage. It's not that bad, actually. Well, <laughs> never mind. It's horrible. And then near near you, you're, there's a lot more damage involved. So now we're gonna use the Lamat. So the Lamat it has horrible accuracy. The the accuracy is absolutely horrific. Uh, don't even mention the accuracy. But the thing is, you gotta. Uh, deliver a, a big strike, you know, it does more, it does even more damage than the Navy shotgun, which is a lot. As you can see, it, the, yeah, what he did. Okay, so as you can see, it has, it, you know, horrible accuracy, but if, generally this is the range that you're going to be away from somebody. As you can see, you're going to get most of the shots planted straight on the torso. Or even if you're going to go for headshots, I'm not 100% this will hit. But yeah, you can see they you got some pretty good headshots right there. I'm going to wait for the... eight hey, stop shooting it. But I'm going to wait for the bullet holes to despawn on this. So I'm going to trust the groon on this. So we're going to test the long range. As you can see, there are three bullets to shoot out. And it is decent accurate. I mean, you know, the accuracy isn't good at all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> But, uh, let's try it on here. So, if we're close to it, you're gonna get some good shots planted right there. You're gonna get some good shots planted right there. And if you're away from them, then you're really gonna do nothing to them. Because, let's be honest, this is like a, a, a burst weapon. It's not gonna do well long range. That's why it is a short range loadout. So, we're gonna go on to the next short range loadout. Alright, now most of these loadouts for short range are going to involve the mule shotgun. Not because I like the use of the mule shotgun, but because it's really the only primary viable close-ranged weapon besides for the Hartford, but you do have to be a, a pretty good pro of the game to use that. So we already reviewed this right here, so we're going to go on to the Peacekeeper. Now the Peacekeeper, moderate damage, accuracy is okay, but it's going to do pretty well at close range. Now, I it's, it's also a good medium-range weapon with a good damage. Now I'm going to try it on my friend again. Now I'm not going to shoot him a ton. So as you can see, we're going to actually go far further away from him. It does a lot of headshot damage and the accuracy is very good. So we we're going to go over here and fan it. As you can see, since a fan from that far away, decently fast, it did this pattern. Let's try again faster though. See, the pattern isn't the best, obviously, because it's a fan, and it's a pretty quick fan, and also it's a peacekeeper with higher, um, I mean, recoil and accuracy. It does have pretty good accuracy, though. And this, this right here is basically the, the, the little brother of the mule shotgun now. For some reason, the mule shotgun does less damage. Uh, let's find the, okay, yeah, so see, Shazaf does more damage right here. This is less by a significant amount when you're talking about the Wild West. Now, it shoots five bullets out of it, or five, like, pellets. And then if we go up close, you get some pretty good hits on it. You can one-hit headshot people with this. I don't think you can with a mule shotgun. I don't think it is possible. I'm not 100% sure. I think... See, that was... That was obviously, is low, but normally you wouldn't really be able to one-hit people with that, I'm pretty sure, so... 
Yeah, that's second close range loadout. All right, sorry. Last those other loadouts you weren't really supposed to focus on the stuff in the hot bar, but now this is this one you only focus on the stuff in the hot bar. The only thing here is the Bowie knife. Now the Bowie knife is really good, but you got to be good at knifing, which I'll give more tips on and such in the combat section of this video. But I'm just gonna do some little things with here. The Bowie knife does one third of your health. Uh, actually, a bit more than one third. It used to do a lot more. You used to be able to two hit people with this thing if they didn't regenerate by one health by the time that you hit them in the other time, which was pretty easy if you just get two consecutive hits like that. Because generally you're gonna you're gonna get two consecutive hits. It's not very common where you only hit them once and that's it. So yeah, that's that's the Bowie knife. All right, guys, I'm back. It's the next day, so there might be a bit less background noise. I don't know. That depends if the I should have edited out the background noise, but I, I don't really know. So yeah. This is my loadout. This is a pretty good medium range loadout right here. It's um, you can use it for medium, medium long range. It's not like the the furthest range ever, and you can't really one hit somebody from further away. So, yeah. So this is the Hartford rifle right here, and has a very quick reload speed. I mean, it says the reload isn't that fast, but uh, really. So the strat for this gun, this or at least this loadout, is the combo strat that I use. So you run around like this, I didn't hit that, uh, and then you, you shoot, you shoot the person once with the Hartford, and then you finish them off by fanning them a few times with the Model 3, or if you're close enough, then one hitting them with the Lamat. The reason that I love the Lamat is you can generally kill, like, you can kill a person with an entire magazine, or actually, I'm pretty sure you can kill two, if, uh, you just get a few headshots. So, yeah. The accuracy obviously isn't the best, like, uh, like last loadouts but this is this has been what i'm using for like a few months now so yeah it's pretty good model three it's similar to the peacekeeper though it's more um quicker reload and more accuracy though less damage so yeah uh really you can always like replace the model three for peacekeeper whenever you really want to but yeah that's my loadout by the way now there's some actual good ones here Alright, here's another one right here. This is, uh, the more cheaper option. Yellow Boy is not the best gun, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, obviously it is like a starter weapon. It's the cheapest rifle. It's only a thousand. But it does have a quick reload. Uh, you're gonna want to be pretty accurate with this because it does not pack much of a punch whatsoever. And then, we got the Peacekeeper. A classic, you know. Model 3, which I showed off last loadout. But you can actually substitute the Model 3 for the Mosser if you did buy a VIP. Which I do recommend for you guys. The Mosser isn't the best, but it is... I call it the Pocket Harmonica Rifle because it's basically... It does like the same damage and everything as a Harmonica Rifle. But instead it's a... It's a pistol. Yeah, so that's that loadout. It's pretty good, um, but y you're not... You can't really do like the Hartford quick scope sort of thing with it. I mean, you can always do this. This is always a good strategy, just like running around and then shooting every once in a while, especially when the person just shot or they're reloading. So yeah. All right, now we're going on to the next loadout. All right, so you guys were, saw me talking about, you know, the Model 3 and stuff and the harmonica, no, the harmonica last time. The harmonica is a very detailed gun and I do like it. As you can see, it has pretty good accuracy, and the mag does drop when you reload, which is a cool feature that I like. Uh, and this is a pretty good close range. It's good for, like, raiding bronze, but you're going to want to be in a medium distance. This, this loadout barely has any option for being close range. due to I picked these revolvers because they have really good accuracy, and you can shoot quite far. But if somebody's over there, then you can probably shoot them. If they're, use, if they're using the mule shotgun, they're not going to be able to harm you from over there, so you can just, uh, I recommend first person for this gun. If you want to know how to get into a first person, just press V. Uh, it's, it's quite useful. Uh, unlike the Sharps and, uh, Hartford Rifle, it does not actually, like, automatically put you in a first person when you aim down sights. So, yeah. And we have this, and that i recommend for this loadout to like single fire the revolvers unless you're near somebody if like a mule shotgun spammer gets near you because those those guys are very common nowadays I, I i hate to admit it but they are so yeah that's much better less less loud now it used to be very loud 
Okay. Well, those. I think I have one more loadout for this. Yes, I do, actually. Alright, this is another one of those loadouts where you can substitute the Model 3 for Model 3, but yeah. This is this is like the wannabe tryhard gun right here, the Linux. It's it's like it's not in any way, shape, or form uh, next to the harmonica or I mean the Hartford, but it can still be used as it, I guess, because like the the damage isn't anywhere close. I think it. I for some reason the mayor's leg does more damage than this, and it shoots way quicker. But this is a cheap gun. Yeah, I don't really recommend it unless you have experience with other games, like like if you're very accurate. Because, and you, like, have experience with this game, too, because, like, you may have to run around and jump like this if you don't want to get hit, because it does have a cooldown. But, here's the Navy Revolver. The Navy Revolver is very good at the game. Like, it, it's just, it's just a godlike weapon. The reason that I don't use it is because I'm used to, um, using the revolvers and fanning them. But, it's quite accurate. The recoil is quite a bit, but it does reload very quickly, and you don't have to take much time to, like, start reloading it. So, as you can see, we're, like, we're getting all the hits on them. And this thing does quite a bit of damage, too, right there. Uh, Lamat does more damage than this, but to be honest, if you get a headshot with this, it is deadly. Like, if you have good aim, then you are going to be a killing machine with this. But you can't really use many revolvers before that, because then you won't be used to it, and you're going to think that you can fan it. But it is not fanable. If you could fan this thing, it would be way too OP. But the recoil would be very high. It's basically just a single shot Lamat with more uh, accuracy. Which I do not know why this apparently. Ha oh, never mind. This okay, <laughs> I'm stupid. But yeah, this thing has more accuracy and stuff. And it's just a pretty good gun. So yeah, that's all the medium range loadouts. Okay, here's the long range loadouts. Now, these. I actually missed a uh, medium range loadout in the last one, but I just want to tell you guys. Honestly, you can use any loadout. These are just ones that I I prefer using, and they're good, and they're good starter loadouts. So you can always just mix match whatever guns that you like there. So yeah, this is the Sharps Rifle. This is the only scoped gun in the entire game. And, you know, I'm pretty sure they did nerf it a bit. Um, maybe I can find the patch notes when they nerfed it, but I remember they did nerf this a bit. So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, which one are we in? It's probably next to Bugs and Egg. Okay, well. Okay, well, this I, d I don't know why, but yeah. Okay, nothing, nothing over here. I don't, I don't see anything, but uh, yeah. I, I remember it did get nerfed sometime down the line because you used to be able to one-hit Buffalo in the head, now you can't. So that's kind of sad. But so it uses stamina to aim or to steady, which it uses quite a bit of. So you, you don't really need to steady that much because the shake it for it isn't that high but yeah so as you can see you can get some pretty good hits right there and there is a bullet drop with this there's bullet drop with every gun this one is like the most noticeable because if you can see we're gonna go for a headshot i mean it's not really bullet drop from this range maybe maybe we can get a good demonstration over there so you're gonna have to compensate if you're shooting people from far away so as you can see the bullet goes down like that um you get, yeah if people up are on cliffs and stuff you're probably gonna have to compensate pretty much like a lot and then here's the navy revolver since the navy revolver is like sort of long range we can't hit people from it for you know quite a bit and then i just chose the model 3 you can use a mauser for this but model 3 does have like 100 percent accuracy basically unlike this i don't think this thing has 100 percent accuracy no it does not but you know you can always get some pretty good hits on with this though so, yeah it's a uh, pretty good sniper loadout Okay, this is more like the semi-sniper, because this is similar to mine. Now, the I don't know why I put the Lamat in this, because it's no way, shape, or form, like, accurate at all. As, yeah, I, I saw, how did I hit that? But, yeah, it's it's not accurate at all, so you can always use a Model 3 or a Monster for this, so. Yeah, and then we have this, which is not accurate either, but, you know, those two guns do a lot of damage. So, now we have the Hartford. Now the Hartford, it's it's pretty good. I like it a lot actually. Um, so we can get a hit on there, yeah. So you can hold on shift with any gun to zoom in. By the way, if you're standing still at least. And yeah, it does it does a lot of damage. But this is another one of those combo guns. These are this is used in other long range loadouts, but yeah. So you can generally hit them once with the Hartford or hit them twice, and the reload is very quick. That's why it's significant from the Sharps rifle. Alright, this one you're pretty gonna 
pretty much have to get VIP unless you want to substitute the Mauser for Navy Revolver. And now the Winchester Rifle is very good accuracy. I never really noticed this for a while, but it's, it's quite accurate. I love the iron sights for it. And yeah, it does quite a bit of damage. The reload's pretty quick. And uh, yeah, so here's the damage right here. Not not super bad, not, not super good, I guess, but you can still kill quite a bit of people with this. Obviously, the long range load attacks are more expensive than others, but these are generally used for hunting and such. But if you're gonna do hunting, then I just recommend the mule shotgun. So as you can see, that's a Mazda right there. It's it's quite good. So yeah, that's the end of the loadout section. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll give some combat tips right here too, because why not? So most of these combat tips are just about how not to get shot and how not to die as often. So you're not going to want to run into a fight like this, like just run into it and start shooting people. Because then you're just going to get lit up. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to run in like this. You want to make unpredictable movements. So when people try to shoot you, then they're probably going to miss because you just ran the other way. When you're in a fight, never run in a straight line. Always like do zigzags around like this so then people can't get you. And it takes about 10 stamina to jump. So you're going to want to go around like this until your stamina regens jump. And just spam jump, really. Uh, spamming jump is a pretty good strat. And then what you do is just blast people while you're doing this. Maybe get some quick scopes in with the Hartford or something. And just want to quickly shoot people. Because if you have time to reload while you're jumping around like a monkey like this, then, you know, people are still not going to hit you. If you run in like this and start shooting people like this, you're going to easily be shot and you're going to be a very good target. So, yeah, you're not going to win any fights that way. And then here's the knife skills. The knife is a very, very, very useful thing. This is the Bowie knife. This is the better version of the normal knife. And you can buy it at the Hunter's Cabin, I think, in Tribal right here. Hunting Shack right here. You can buy it there, and it does about one-third your health. And you're gonna, you're not gonna, it's similar to guns, but you gotta get close to people. So you gotta do this, because there's a, like, time period that you can hit people with it when it's out. So you gotta like you gotta do this because there is like a cut option, but th this does the same effect as the cut, but like more range. And also you're gonna be able to hit somebody a lot easier with this. So if you run by them and then do that or something, then yeah, you're always gonna want to run away from them after you hit them because they might also go at you with the Bowie knife. And uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to get as close as you can. If you can't get that far, if you can't get that close, then that's okay because this thing has some decent range, I guess though it is quite balanced. They did nerf it, like I said earlier in the video. Um, it used to do half your health. So yeah, now that's the actual end of the load part. Okay guys, so I just spawned in Bronze City here, and this chapter is about horses, as you saw in the title screen for it. And there's only really a few horses that you're gonna wanna be checking out for. And you can really get any horse that you want, but to be honest, there's there's a few things that you want to see here. So, the least important thing is health. We don't really need a ton of health on your horses. It's really weak anyways. They're going to be weak. Any, any, like, the guns in this game do a lot of damage. So, you get you can scroll through these. And speed and stamina are both very important. Um, stamina gives booth. I mean, like, boosts. And speed gives, like, like uh, more, more speed, you know. So... This, this horse right here, Arabian, is a very good horse that you can check up on, or a Morgan. I have not actually tried a Morgan, but I did use an Arabian for a very long time. So, I'm not going to buy this because I'm saving for the carriage update, but... Yeah, uh, Arabian's pretty good. But, yeah, those are the, like, starter horses. You can always buy, like, a cheaper or more unknown horse, like these, like a Tereske or something. Uh, a Lustine, that's just, that's just a scam. This is a scam, too. And this isn't as much of a scam right here. So yeah, most important thing you're going to be looking out for is stamina and speed. There's no really point of speed without stamina, but there's no point of stamina without speed. So probably the priority is speed, but um, stamina is also very important. See the boots that when I press shift, then it gives me like a boost of speed and stuff. That is what stamina is. Uh, I have five on this. Who is this? I'm not using this loadout, but I hate it, so... It's dead now. Yeah, so. Let's see. I'm gonna get out my Hartford rifle and stuff. I'm gonna actually go to the next place where you buy horses. But this, these are the elite horses, okay? 
Like I said, the section is going to be a little bit more short, but this is where you get the elite swag gamer horses. Alright, on my way here, I just want to shoot some people real quick, so turn off friendly, and here we go. Um, come here. Oh, it's, guys, it's a mule shotgun spammer. That's quite funny. Oh, he's trying to lasso me now. Cool. I'm trash aim right now. Oh, he's gonna try to lead me into the thing right here. That was that was a bad idea. Oh, don't don't last me now. I'm just gonna knife this guy's horse. He's gonna last me. Oh, nope. I'm too good. I'm too good. He's still moving somehow. Stop using that. Stop. Unfunny man. Okay, okay fine. I'm gonna die right here, by the way. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead already. Cause the lag. Oh. Am I not dead? This is epic. Okay, go away. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's another reason why you're gonna wanna have good internet while playing this game, so. Yeah, my internet ain't doing to the, the best right now, because it's like in the afternoon, not in the night, so. Yeah, more people are using the internet. Okay, so this is where you get the elite horses, Callahan Manor. Now... The horses that you're gonna want to be see these these are the best right here these are the epic best ones so american quarter horse and mustang are the best ones that you're gonna be want to be looking for see there's only like a few horses here yeah there's only five including the mule so american quarter horse and mustang are the same i recommend mustang because it's a smaller target but yeah so we can also go to you can you can sell the reindeer what would you want to do okay but these are my two event horses right here, by the way. You get them from events. Okay, so. These. Okay, where's. Okay, yeah. Here's my Mustang right here. This is the one that I use. You can click customize on it. And you can change, like, the size of it. The pitch of its, like, squeals. Like, the, the color of this right here. The, like, the thing around it. Right there, yeah. And then eye color. I recommend, like, I recommend a darker color because you're not going to be seen. And then accessories are pretty cool. You can get saddles, blankets, and stuff on it, which is it, it's it's quite cool, to be honest. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's that's the horse section right there. All right, this part of the video is not as important, and mostly, I mean, actually, it's very important to be honest. Now, a lot not a lot of people think about this when they make their Wild West videos, but. The occupation that you have in the game. Now, some people, it's very rare for these type of people. They just do everything, okay? And you can be one of those guys. So, if you if you want to just do literally everything in the game, then here we go. But this this section of the video is just going to be me kind of like teaching you guys on what you should do and what you can do, I guess. Now, most people in this game, like me, they stick with one thing and, and kind of stick with it, you know? Like, they don't, they don't do a ton of different things, I guess. It's... It's quite easier and more manageable because then you know what you're gonna do. I don't know how this guy is still alive. Okay, there we go. I ended him. But yeah, you, you want to know what you're gonna do in the game, and skipping around isn't as organized. So my occupation is criminal, sort of. Like I, all I do running around is I don't I don't rob banks and stuff. I just kill people. That's all I do in this game. That's all I have done in this game for a long time, actually. Now my stats aren't the best. I know a lot of people have better stats than me, but here we go. This kills all that you know you can see on this stuff yeah all i do is kill people and and that's what i do in this game and it's fun because i'm good at the game and yeah but i don't really recommend that for new players now the occupation that you're gonna have for a while is mostly just like you know playing the game i guess and getting money so like you're gonna be a mining dude uh, or a robbery person i guess i don't know but here, here we go. So there's a few different jobs in this game. One of them is bartender right here. Bartender or barkeep. They sit here all day and sell drinks to people and they do the floor and stuff, I guess. But it's it can be a bit fun. She so has the stuff and then they can sell it to you. Why are you trying to sue me? Stop. And then you can buy it from them for fairly cheap. And then, yeah, and it, people eat it, and then they'll get a health boost, health regeneration boost right there. And it's pretty good. Pretty good job, but not everybody will buy your stuff, and it's quite cheap. Honestly, gold mining is way better. So, 
yeah and now we're going off to the next job this job is sheriff so sheriff is you go in here and you can become sheriff there can be a max of two sheriffs and a server i'm the only one right now and basically the thing that they can do is they have this baton and basically what it does is on criminals instead of using a lasso to arrest them which i'll get back onto in the next in later the video because this is like a complete guide you know then basically what you can do is you can hit people twice with this and then they'll ragdoll and then you can pull out your handcuffs and arrest them so it's way easier you don't have to wait 10 seconds and nobody can break them out they cannot automatically stand up after you hit them down it takes them about i think five seconds to stand back up which is a large time frame you can either kill them or arrest them which honestly it'll just be easier to arrest them because it doesn't take 10 seconds to arrest it's just like boop and then that's it like it's it's almost instant see let's see if i can try on this guy down here in the bank let's see if we can get a good demonstration down here so that guy's gonna try to flush him out this guy's gonna be stuck here for a while let's see so if we, oh he's already dead that would that would explain something i guess so yeah uh but you can hit people down with this and then arrest them and it's a pretty efficient way to make money if you are getting high criminals, like high high bounty criminals. Take the bounty of somebody. This next to their name is their bounty and how much they're like worth if you arrest them. Let's see, let's see where I am. Oh, 20, 23rd. Okay, that's kind of bad. But and then you can see like their bounty and how much money you'll get from arresting them alive. You will get less bounty if you kill them than if you keep them alive. So, keeping them alive and just arresting them is way better. See, that's a wanted guy up here. Let's see if we can get him. Where, where did he go? Where, where did this... Where did... Okay. This man just, like, teleported away or something. I did not know what happened right there. Oh, people are running the bank. I want to get some demonstration with this stupid... I hate Sheriff because of this. Like, it's so hard to find criminals. But I guess they mostly do just sit bronze. Come here. Alright, see, we, we hit him twice, arrest him, there we go, 100 bucks, because he had a 100 bounty. Let's see if we can get this guy, I bet I can, because, like, he's probably very cringy. Yeah, he's gonna... Come here. Alright, so we hit him down, and arrest him. Oh, I accidentally asked him to duel. Uh, let's see. Come here. Somebody shot me. Why would he do that? Train fight, let's go. Beep, bop, 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 bop. What, what is even going on on this train? Oh, it stopped. Oh, that's kind of tough for them. Okay, arrest them. There we go. All right, now I got $115 from that. Another, oh, I accidentally killed him right there. I'm going to attend the trial. And, uh, yeah, somebody's going to shoot him, by the way. I know that they are. So I'm going to I'm gonna hold that this. He not guilt. He not guilt. Guys, I arrested him. He not guilt. He's not guilt. Hey, yeah, guys, I just really wanted the bounty from this, okay? Oh my god, yeah, people, okay. I'm surprised nobody killed him. Uh, mayor make the choice okay next top occupation all right the job that i'm going to show you right here you need to buy it. it's a game pass there's actually two game pass job no no three so this one is hitman basically people go up to you or you can at least ask them if they want anybody dead right here he's trying to cut down a tree that you cannot cut down see i can tell this guy is a kind of new player do you, do you need anybody dead sure do you need anybody dead let's just spam him until he says yes He's probably selecting something right now. Alright, and then a little notification will pop up right here if they select somebody that they want dead. And it costs about 100 bucks to hire a hitman, so... Yeah. You can also use this to track people down that you just want to kill in general. You just have to have a friend. And when they... When you... On the employment... Oh, oh no, no, no. Fine, I'll buy it. Jeez, man. See, let's see if the mayor wants anybody dead this time. Oh, no, the mayor just ran away from me. Okay. Is this guy a criminal? I mean, he's a, he's a criminal, all right, okay. He's garbage at the game. 
Okay, let's let's ask people for for employment. You, you, who wants employment? Who, who needs employment? Here we go. Who wants who who wants uh who wants somebody dead? Come on, come on. You need you want somebody dead. I know that you do. I really know that you want somebody dead here. Okay, this is this him in oh whoa, yeah a hoops who dat? Oh, it's this guy. I remember him. All right, where he at though? People generally just put hitman contracts on like people that they know. So yeah. All right, where where they at though? Where the where the person at? Okay, so they might yeah. I, this is him right here. Oh, he's wanted, so that's why they wanted it. A a a. You're not funny. Give me my money. I want my money. Stop. Oh, guys, look at me. I just completed a contract. I'm so good at the game. Oh, I'm going to get shot here and die. Ah, how did none of those shots hit right there? This, this is this is stupid. Okay, that shot hit right there. I'm so good. I'm cracked. Oh, oh he's dead. Uh, no, I'm not protecting you, you stupid cringe. Okay, yeah, next occupation. All right, I, I call this one professional loser of money because all you do is shoot people like this. Here, I'm going to show you how to do it. I missed. How do I miss that? I thought I was good at this game. Oh my god. Okay, we're okay. No, he's not around there. Mm, okay, the, I don't know where that man went, but he's he just oh he's right here now. Hello, ah! ah! You do the crime, you do the time. Yeah. Okay, that's that's why this job isn't the best. It's not even that much of a job. It's just killing people. So I don't really recommend this. But I'm gonna try again. Okay. I, I basically can like a guy just lassoed me and I don't really like that. It's not very honorable to be honest. Stop using the yellow boy, you're garbage. He's probably gonna kill me though. Now that I said that. Nope. Uh, Lamat, OP. Please nerf. Okay, here's the clueless bartender right here who has like the hugest hitbox ever. Got him. Okay, need a reload to Lamat. I'm really low on health right now. Please don't try to shoot me, Mr. Bartender. No, he's gonna- No, no, I don't need a meal. I don't need a meal. Come on, man. Stop, you're blocking my shot. I do not need a meal. I'm sorry. Wait, actually, I do need a meal. Give me a meal. Yeah, I'll buy a meal from you. Thank you, sir. Mmm. Food. I'm a menace now, so if I get arrested, then I'm not. I, I go to the bad person camp. I hate this game. I hate it so much. No. Stop. Stop it! Oh no! 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 Stop it! Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop! 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 I hate lasso people. I hate people that use the lasso. Oh my god! No! Stop it! Why are there multiple people using the lasso? Stop! No! No! Please no! Oh yeah, everybody in the surfer uses the mule shotgun too, which is really annoying because, you know, I. I this, this is really sad. I had like five people aiming a mule shotgun at me in my trial, and they're like, Oh my god, mule shotgun so OP! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, see, that's why you guys, that's that's why I'm trying to train you guys not to be bad players. See, that's when somebody normal plays this game, like some, some random idiot who comes from like, you know. What? Yes. Yes. What, what is what is this guy not understanding? Yeah, all right. Well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna continue on to the next part of the video. Yeah, I'm just gonna say all the occupations right now. You can either be a criminal, a mayor, which is I don't have the game pass, doctor, which I don't have the game pass, hitman, hunter, um, anybody really. You can just be anything to be honest. But the advice that I have to you is stick with something. Don't just do something and, like, not do it afterwards. It, stick with something, okay? You don't need to, like, do 20 things and, you know. Yeah, you're just gonna want to stick with one thing. It'll be easier, more manageable, and you'll know what you want to do whenever you play this game. And generally, I, you want to pick one that makes you a bit of money. For me, I don't, I, I, I don't make money from any of this. I actually lose a lot of my Wild West money. So, yeah, mostly after buying dynamite and stuff. So, you know, the daily necessities of life. Dynamite. Oh, that's a deer.
Oh, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Okay, well, that's the deer. The deer is slid away in the water. But yeah, just stick, stick with something. That's That's my advice to you. Alright, this is more just like the random one, okay? So this one, this is just about random stuff and tips that I have for anybody that plays this game. So, how does this guy keep finding me? What the heck? What? <laughs> how does it... I'm gonna buy a meal from him. This, like, is, is a reward. What? What do you want? See, uh, yeah. Uh oh, you want you want you ride around on my horse? Okay, cool. So, yeah. So the first thing is you're 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 not gonna want to be cringe, like. So the worst. Okay. The worst thing that you can really do is say easy after you kill somebody because it personally. I think it's probably not easy for you, it, it probably wasn't easy for you, but you're saying that because you're too much of a coward to admit to yourself that you're a bad player of the game, so then, so then you do that. It, mostly, easy, the term easy comes from, like, meal sucking users. And then, here's the hunter shop, tribal horn, I, I have never, <laughs> I don't know what the point of a bear trap is, because I've tried using them before, or cringe. Also, bows are a bow, bows are thing in this game, I, I don't really recommend them as much, but... Yeah, okay, and then we have the axes. Cringe, so this is where the hunter thing is. But I am actually going to do a little show on how you get the... How you can get the secret detonator. So some of you may see in the shop that there is an item called TNT charge, and it can be blown up using a detonator. Well, you can't buy a detonator, can you? No, you can't actually. It's actually an item that you need to uh, obtain. It's quite easy, actually. All you need is 50, 50 in-game dollars, not like actual dollars. You just need fifty dollars in-game for a single piece of dynamite. That's all you're gonna. Do. Oh god! Oh god! I didn't notice that right there. Oh dang! If, if the lights were on there, then I would not have noticed. I would not have noticed that train, and this this part of the video would be ruined. So you're gonna want to go over to the general store over here. I mean, you don't have to go to the general store. I recommend the bronze one. Do they even? Yeah, they don't even. They don't even sell stuff here, so I'm gonna go to the bronze. Alright, well, I accidentally told that guy to, to, that I that we were going to bronze, but I accidentally went here, so. I mean, I couldn't go to bronze anyways because I'm, I'm wanted, but. Yeah. So I got my dynamite. Here it is, the shiny little dynamite. It blows up and stuff. That's pretty cool. It's what dynamite does sometimes, you know. Only sometimes, though. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> the horse just almost committed soup of side. Uh, that that wouldn't have been very funny if I'm if I'm gonna be honest with you. Also, watch my other Wild West videos because I want to be able to get like YouTuber perks and stuff on like the Wild West and things. So yeah, if if, if I get like 500 like average views on each video, then yeah, I'll be able to get those. And if you guys do that, then it'll help support me and everything. So yeah. If you've made it this far in the video, then you may as well, I guess. So, here we are at Bronze, and we don't actually need to go here. We need to go to Deadman's Rest over here. It's the graveyard. Many of, many, many of you have probably already seen this. Deadman's Rest. And it is over here. It's quite spoopy. Not gonna lie. Alright, if we go here, then there, we need to look for a specific grave. You can look on the backs of them. Uh, Hudson, Ro uh, Hudson John Robert throw dynamite at it we're about to blow up some graves you know all right and then we'll have this key right here you grab the key and then yeah you'll have it in your inventory it's called the i, I, I don't know why but it, it doesn't appear it's not appearing or at least i don't see it in my inventory maybe i'm just stupid and yeah, whatever i uh, yeah well it should say hudson key and then i need to go over here back to the cabin Oh, yeah, sorry. All of you were probably cringing at that because I was in the gun section, not this section. The Hudson Yuki's right there. I'm stupid. Alright, now we're here, and you gotta run around the back of it, okay? This, I've, I've made multiple videos about this, but, yeah, okay. You can unlock this, and then there's a detonator. You grab it, and you get a detonator. It's quite cool, not gonna lie. 
and it connects up to a TNT charge. I don't actually have one right now, but it puts a, a wire in between the charge and the detonator. And then if you click on the detonator, then it'll detonate it. But obviously, it's like, you know, there's a tiny bit of delay on the wire. So you want to, when the big strat, what I like to do is go to Outlaw Birch. I'm actually going to go there right now so I can show you guys how to do it. It's, it's pretty funny. Alright, actually, I can, I, can, I can just do this right here. So, Outlaw's Perch, you want to go here, go over to the gun shop right here, sidearm, or special, whatever you call it, and then it's a placeable object, so then you get it over here. I don't think there's any Outlaw's right here right now. If, if there is, then they're not here. Well, I don't, okay, did they add this? Oh, yeah, okay. So, this was patched, unfortunately, but... That's that's kind of big sad. I'm kind of sad about that one because basically what you used to be able to do is you used to be able to put on this little bridge right here, and then you detonate it when people were running across, and they'd launch into here like uh the, like the following like this, and they they either die from the explosion or the fall. See, they'd already be weakened by the explosion. It was really fun. I used to do it way too much in that in this game, but that was that was the good old days before. Everything was just cringe, and Mule Shotgun actually was a good gun. So yeah, that's that's the end of this section of the video. That is the end of the full guide of the Wild West. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new, or at least you learned how to play the game correctly, and uh, the ways that you should play the game, the do's and don'ts of the Wild West of the the Wild World. Uh, see, this is something that you should not do. Uh, see, this, this is a horrible idea, by the way. I hate this. Why did I decide to do this? Okay, that was a bad idea. You fools, it was all just a prank. Uh, I just, I needed to, uh, get my bounty away. Oh, this, I'm, I feel bad for this guy. I really do. Hi. Okay, so, yeah, it's the end of it. I hope you enjoyed. If, if you really watched this long, then you probably should have, like, subscribed or something. You know, if you want to, that's your choice, not mine. This guy right here. I'm probably gonna die right here because whenever I'm recording them, are really rusty at the game. Like I cannot, I can, I can never play the game correctly when something like this is happening. Let's see. Is he gonna get lit up? Oh, he's getting lit up by other people though. Not me. What? He's he's kidnapped somebody. No, don't do that. Okay. Um. I'm gonna break the. I'm just gonna. Yeah, he broke free himself. Okay, well, yeah, that's the end. Goodbye.